The Ford Mustang is very well known around the world. They are striking to look at, to hear, and to even talk about. But while there are many fans of the Mustang young and old, there are only a few who ever get a chance to climb behind the wheel of one. Whether you're in the market, looking for a Mustang for yourself and are curious about what it's like inside, or you are just dreaming of the day you can be there yourself, this video is for you. Let's take a look at the interior of the Ford Mustang. Climbing into the interior of the Mustang is more like climbing into the interior of an airplane. That's because the Mustang derives its name from the P-51 Mustangs of World War II. You have nice big knobs here, toggle switches, and an engine start stop button. This Mustang is outfitted with the optional class exclusive 12 inch LCD cluster. This cluster is fully customizable and even changes the looks of the gauges depending on what mode you're in. There's a toggle switch down here to change your drive modes. And you'll see you're here in normal with this gauge layout. Switch over to Sport Plus and you get an RPM gauge up there that goes across the whole screen. Switch over to track mode and the RPM mode becomes the focus with the miles per hour just going to a digital readout. This continues for drag strip mode and when you go back to snow wet you have just the normal mode. Now as you can see there's blue on here and white. However, you can change that with my color. You can change your primary color. As you can see, we have red there. Your secondary color. You can change your ambient light inside of the vehicle, like in the cup holders and stuff. You can even create your own hue for all three. As you can see, we're switching through some different modes here in the center. You have lateral G's, your inlet air, cylinder head, temperature, air fuel ratio, vacuum and voltage. Here's where you can check each one that you want to show. You also have your track apps in here, which includes a, an acceleration timer, your brake performance from 60 to 0, 100 to 0, your line lock, which will allow you to spin the back tires and keep the front tires still by activating only the front brakes. You have a lap timer and a start option with a drag race or racetrack countdown. And here in my mode you can set your steering feel and your suspension feel to your preferences. Moving on to the steering wheel, over here on the left side you have your volume controls and your seek for your stereo, your menu buttons on the other side with your sync touch to talk. Down here, this Mustang right here is what we were controlling the digital dash with. You have an audio option which will change your source, obviously pick up and hang up the phone your settings menu, and your navigation. Over here on the other side, you have your cruise control settings, which are pretty much self-explanatory. To the left of the steering wheel is your light controls, a trunk release, and right here, not many people know about this, but this is actually a sunglasses holder. This is the premium Mustang here, so you get your memory seatings for up to three people, one touch electronic windows, and some storage here in the door, which I have my cell phone sitting in right now. And as you can see, the Mustang has some pretty good materials in here. You have leather right here and soft touch elements on the door card. 
leather wrap dash. It's also soft to the touch. And the steering wheel, soft to the touch with this nice smooth wrapped leather. This is the automatic 10 speed. So you do have paddle shifters on either side. And over here on the stock is where you would turn off your lane centering. The dash features a throwback to the overhang of the first Mustangs. And you have a nice sync three screen here in the middle. Again, with those large knobs for volume and tune. Here's where you seek. On equipped models, you have heated and cooled seats. This is how you adjust your temperature. Fan speed, all that good stuff. Your hazards there. Traction control off. This one right here is for your steering feel. As you can see, you have normal, sport, and comfort. And then again, over here on the end is for your drive modes. Shifter right here in the middle, a little bit of storage right here with a USB port. Leather wrapped handbrake. And your cup holders that are offset from the middle here, which is great for when you have the six speed. Your center storage right here with another USB and a 12 volt port. Little options for some change there and place to hold your pens. This Mustang is outfitted with the B&O audio system that gives you 12 speakers, including a subwoofer in the trunk. The interior of the Mustang is pretty spacious for the front passengers, as this is a GT car, which is a Grand Tourer, which means it's great for road trips for a couple of people. The headroom comes in at 37.6 inches for front passengers, and the rear passengers have 34.8 inches. Legroom here in the front measures 44.5 inches and only 29 inches in the rear, but that means the seat has to be pushed up. As you can see where this seat is right now, there's not much room at all. However, you do get hookups for child seats, or you could just simply fold this down for more trunk space. Pretty nice size glove box there. More storage over here on the door. Let's take a quick look in the trunk and see just how much space we got back there. There's that subwoofer we talked about with the B&O audio system. And trunk space is pretty good for this size car. You get 13.5 cubic feet here in the fastback version, but that decreases to 11.4 and the convertible model. And you see you have a small spare right there. Well, now that we've journeyed the interior of the Mustang, why don't you say we get behind the wheel ourselves and go for a little drive?
we thank you for taking the time to look around the interior of the Ford Mustang with us and go for this short little drive. But to get this view, there's only one place to go, and that's Richmond Ford, where we are driven by you. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more great content, and thanks for watching.